for the tardiness. I will try to make this a quick hearing anyway. Uh, we This is actually a continuation of the public hearing uh, of the Justice Committee and Human Rights Jointly with the Committee on Finance and the following measures. Bill granting Philippine citizenship and bills creating additional branches of regional, municipal, and metropolitan courts. The numbers are there in the agenda. In addition to the foregoing, the committee, together with the Committee on Finance, will consider the following measures today. Senate Bill creating one additional branch of the RTC in the relation Banco del Norte, and House Bill number 652 creating one additional branch of the RTC in Osani City, Misamis Occidental, covering the municipal trial, Silk Trial Court of Clarín and Tudela, the MTC, of Clarine and a new MCT in Sinacaban and Tudela. For consideration, or consideration also are the following bills on the creation of the position of judges at large, which I consider very, very important. And this is the matter of uh, one, Senate Bill 2002, authored by your 1691, authored by Sher Senator Sherwin Gachalian, Senate Bill 1681, authored by Senator Angara and taking into consideration House Bill Number 7309. Finally, this committee, together with the Committee on Finance, will consider the following measures on the extension of the maintenance availability and release of the funds created pursuant to the Public Act 10368, as amended by RA Number 10766 until December 2019. This is the second extension. To ensure payment of qualified human rights violations, victims, and authorities authorizing the Commission on Human Rights to administer the effective distribution thereof. Senate Joint Resolution Number 13, authored by Senator Francis Escudero and Ralph Recto. Senate Joint Resolution Number 14, authored by Senator Risa Antiveros, and taking, taking into consideration House Joint Resolution Number 26. Uh, will the Committee Secretary please state the names and organizations of our resource speakers today? Quickly, please, briskly. Your Honor, from the a former member of the Human Rights Victims Claims Board, Attorney Byron Bukar. We also have from Land Bank, Ms. Aksa Ramirez. From the Bureau of Treasury, Ms. Marcela Salazar. And we also have Chair Jose Luis Gascon from the CHR. We also have Attorney Lailani Aspiras from the DOJ. From the DOJ also, we have Justin Alienda, State Council. And from the Supreme Court, we have Attorney Marina Chu, the Chief Court of Management, and Attorney Raul Perineva, the Deputy Court Administrator. From the DFA, we have Attorney Ricata Marie, Maria Escutin. And from the SEC, Attorney Anne Kathleen Capdula. We have Deputy Director of the NDI, Attorney Ferdinand Levine, Lieutenant Colonel Ed Sel Battaglia from NICA, and we have Mylene Ting, Your Honor. That's all, right. Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, with us today, I have the, is, uh, the Honorable Sherwin Gachalian, uh, who, uh, who has his own bills on the matter. I just want to make sure that we are able to proceed with dispatch because we've had several hearings on citizenship. Uh, has the committee secretary uh, gotten all the necessary documents in connection with the citizenship application? Yes, Your Honor. Um, except for Philip Leach, who still has to submit his ITRs. Who's this? Uh, Philip Leach. Philip? Leach. The Leach. American. Yes. Your Honor. Mm -hmm. And we are also waiting for the referral from the House of Representatives, the um, House version for Hans Gunther Schiff, Your Honor. For the rest, Your Honor, they have already complied with all the necessary documents. And who are they? Who, are they? who, who can we pass on already? We have Malentini, Bruce Donald McTavish, Kuak Hing Parishun, and Father Julian Mazana. All right. In that case, we, can, we will take up the matter of uh, Malentini and the other three, Father Mazana. Mazana and uh, Bruce McDavish. And, and you, Your Honor. And Mr. Dune. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the Chair will entertain a motion to, uh, to uh, approve the, the uh, citizenship so that we can bring this to the floor. Um, 
Mr. Chair, I move to uh, approve the citizenship of the names mentioned earlier by the committee secretary. I so move, Mr. Brett. Okay. There being no objection, the same is approved. So we will bring that to the House, to the, uh, to the uh, Congress, to the Senate, uh, and then uh, with the, on the matter of Mr. Leach and Mr. F uh, Shook, uh, we will await the document so that at the proper time we can uh, approve or reject uh, their application. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ms. Mylene, thank you. May leave. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Quit while you're ahead. Delicado, baka wala may may mag may mag pa. Okay. Same middle name kami. Same ba yun? Ah, ah. Anak Christian ang kwan. <laughs> All right. Now we take up the matter of uh, try to be fast here. Uh, uh, in fairness to those who have been uh, uh, who are awaiting their uh, funding from the uh, from the human rights uh, uh, violations, uh, um, I have only one question. How come after two attempts they have not gotten? and you have gotten nothing but stale checks. Ready nang bayaran eh. Bakit hindi na gagawa? My good friend, Mr. Chairman, Gascon. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Your Honors. Uh, By the way, is Gascon uh, Basque or is it French name? Well, there's a region in France called Gascon, Your Honors. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think my ancestors uh, were with the Spanish guardian ships, so it's they possible they migrated from France to Spain and then from Spain to here. Uh, usually they were sent here because they were rascals back home, no? Possibly, Your right, Honor. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I cannot tell for sure, but uh, there is a 50-50 chance. But Gascon is a very good name. I like, I like Gascon. Uh, I have a volunteer in, in Subic who is now a congressman. We used to call him Gascon, uh, you know, from the Beauty and the Beast. Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. So what is the answer to the question, please? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Actually, the Human Rights Victims Claims Board, uh, which is uh, no longer in existence, it ended uh, from to official on the 12th of May this year, mm -hmm. completed its uh, task of uh, awarding from the Fund for Reparation uh, over 11,000 uh, reparations, Your Honor. There was a set aside. Um, 10 billion pesos for the program of reparations. 300 million had been used by the claims board for its operations over the last four years. 300 million? Yes, Your Honor. Um, You're very liberal with your funding, aren't you? Um, yeah, it ran the uh, operations, salaries, and all of that, Your Honor. Wow. Uh, so then 9.7. This time you just learned from the Red Cross, whatever we wish. <laughs> 9.7 billion, Your Honors, was then paid out. Of the 9.7 billion, uh, what is left is a very s small number. Uh, 231 million right. uh, pesos is left with the land bank, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. What happened, Your Honor, was uh, when the claims board uh, issued the checks to give it a sense of urgency, they followed the government policy of uh, government checks being only valid for three months. And uh, they stuck this on the checks, Your Honor. What has happened is, uh, and my colleague Byron has the details, there are um, 158 checks that were issued in favor of persons who are dead. dead. The reason for it is that the, the relatives failed to inform the claims board of the passing of the claimants. And so when they issued the checks, it was in the name of the people of record. So that's 158 checks. How do you settle that now? They'll have to make a claim. Which is state that that was done? And then that was done. Well, Your Honor, in the meantime, the checks have been made stale. Yeah. And so we need to just this, this measure is really a stopgap remedial measure to allow for the opportunity for the uh, relatives. Could they make it payable to now? Uh, you cannot go directly to the to the heirs unless that's uh, provided for. Uh, there will have to be extrajudicial uh, processes of settlement of, of the estate uh, of the estate, Your Honor, or perhaps settlement of the reparation only, because there may be other estates and that might take time. So the idea is for them to issue an extrajudicial settlement of the particular check in question. I, I doubt it because if it's a uh, 
when a person dies, everything that he owns will have to go to the estate. Yes, you are. Uh, and uh, you cannot uh, set aside something that is due to the estate. If yes. I remember my law correctly. Yes, you are. Which is why, Your Honors, the proposal is to extend the validity until 2019, Your Honor. The the purpose. But you made it sounded like you were going to give it directly by well, separation of was, the heirs. This was. Uh, I just want to make sure that we are not going to agree to that. Well, uh, that will uh, that will result into into more more suits. Well, uh, claims or debt. Let them give it to the estate and let them settle it among themselves, rather than have the government be part of the settlement of the estate. What do you think, Attorney Bukar? Uh, that was one of the problems, uh, Your Honors, that uh, were encountered by uh, the payees who. Uh, with uh, deceased pays yes. in the name of the checks. Uh, yeah, we they were not able to encash the checks well with the land bank, and there were uh, various uh, solutions that were tried out, as uh, stated by Chairman Chito. And uh, still, uh, there was no clear uh, solution that was uh, found. That's why part of the uh, uh, proposed solution is this uh, joint resolution, Your Honor. To extend, to extend, but still, to, to extend the okay, I just want you to know that uh, the young lady from uh, Akbayan, that's my party list too. Oh, on the part from Aklan, yeah, from Aklan, where there are unidentified flying objects, don't you? I got this. And uh, the Honorable uh, Risa on the virus is here. So the issue is you're going to prolong it. If you prolong it to 2019, you're going to give it to the estate and upon which they will have time to settle it among themselves. So that's clear. That's the intention. Uh, but there, there, that's one set, Your Honors. Those who had received checks but in, in the name of dead persons. There right. is another number. How many? 200? Uh, uh, 159. 159 checks that remain with the with the um, in a sense that what we call the transition team. The transition team, uh, since there's no longer a claims board, but they still hold these uh, checks. These are checks that have also become stale, but have not yet even been collected. Who are the uh, Those who had filed. But for whatever reason, they have not gotten it. They have not received it. Because they, they have no knowledge that they're. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Well, you know, you cannot forever with all this. Uh, that's why, Your Honor, we are. Uh, the, the checks were signed on the on the last day of the claims board. So you want to extend that also to give them time. To give them time, Your Honor. Normally, we just issue a notice to all uh, and say, "Can we put that in as a collatilia? We give a notice that we didn't. Uh, uh, that notice to all these following claimants, if they don't get it, it will revert back to street proceedings to the state, right? Yes, Your Honor. In the meantime, Your Honor, the funds are at the land bank, uh, um, and it has been transferred now because it used to be an, in the account of the claims board. It has now been transferred into a Bureau of Treasury account. Understood. Subject to that collateral, because you cannot forever keep that money in limbo. You know, if they're, if they're remiss, then we cannot forever. It's just like somebody who's we're trying to save somebody in a stormy weather, and you know, the, oh, we'll save, we'll save up to a point. Ayun nila tas tatawag yung kapag katapos tamang malulunu do sila, malulunu yung rescuer. Yes, Your Honor, but uh, our hope is that because this is, after all, a social justice uh, measure. I, th I think you better quit ahead, uh, your head because I'm going to say Human Rights Commission should have gone after them. Uh, yes, Your Honor. In fact, that is what we did. Um, in the last few weeks, we, went, we sent a team together with the uh, transition team of the claims board. We went to Visayas yes, and Mindanao, Your Honor. Gascon. I'm not talking about a, fr uh, a friendly name, named Gascon. Mr. Chairman Gascon, you should really make sure that you speed up the information because otherwise it's on your court. Yes, Your Honor. Bidding in the next state, that is your court. Yes, sir. I'm for giving it to them, but yes, we cannot sir. forever hold this in limbo. For sure, yes, yes, Your Honor. That's why we just want to make sure that they have enough time, opportunity to be informed that their checks are there, uh, and that uh, they should collect it in due course. Uh, the chair has no objection to providing the checks, subject to those comments I made. So the chair will now entertain any motion to extend it up to the 19th. Do you have any comment? Yes, oh, go ahead. 
Okay, because I have three more bills. Yes, Mr. Chair, thank you. Uh, only just to note that uh, yeah, no, in, no, this, no, in this uh, Senate Joint Resolution Number 14, I think it already provides that reasonable period within which to uh, recognize the state's uh, own recognized um, obligation towards the uh, human rights violations yeah. victims, and also a reasonable time within which to uh, to extend the indemnification right. to them. Right. It's until December 2019. Right. So I think that's um, that's very clear in the so resolution, Mr. Now. Chair. And so, Mr. Chair, I uh, respectfully move for the approval of Senate Joint Resolution Number 14. Uh, subject to the inputs made by the good chair. I so move, Mr. Subject Chair. Subject to style, of course. No? Subject to style as well, uh, Mr. Chair. An objection, same as approved. This uh, money claim should be extended up to 2019. When specifically? It's the last it's day of 2019, Your Honor. 2019, the last day. All right. Which is the 30th or the 31st? The 31st, Your Honor. Uh, yeah, we have, a, we have added another one day to December. <laughs> we want to thank the Honorable Chair of the Committee and all its members, as well as the principal authors of the measure, Senator Antibaro, Senator Escudero, and Senator Recto, for this very important initiative on behalf of the dictators. We, we have to have closure. Uh, the state now recognizes its obligations under, under the previous regime. All right? Okay. Thank, thank you. you, Chair. You may now go ahead before I say quit while you're ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hola po naman. All right. The next one is uh, the matter of uh, judges at large. All right. The Constitution, as you know, prohibits uh, uh, assigning judges in a place where there is already jurisdiction. And so, therefore, uh, there are, we are aware of the fact that there are many courts that are uh, overloaded salas or dockets, as you will. The minimum for uh, uh, for an RTC is 300, and for MTC is 500. Many of them are severely overloaded. Thank you, thank you. Uh, having said that, uh, the proposal here, therefore, would assign uh, judges at large to support uh, and to uh, uh, carry the burden, but not necessarily take away the judges, to assist practically and to pass on these judge uh, this, uh, uh, these cases that are uh, that are loading the docket uh, so that uh, justice can be made to be more swift. Uh, has everybody understood it? Has everybody read the bill? Okay, no, but the Supreme Court, of course. Gali sa inyo yan eh. Tinanong ko yan mga Chief Justice doon. Dalawa na yan. Actually, pangatlo na. Si Chief Justice Sereno, si Chief Justice, uh, Acting Chief Justice, Tony Carpio is my classmate. And now my classmate, Chief Justice uh, uh, si, uh, Castro, and they they agree with the solution. All right, and Senate President Rilano, former Senate President Rilano also agrees with this. Are there any comments from the Department of Justice? Will there be budget constraints here, like fiscals, uh, prosecuting uh, officials that are to be added? Yes. Chair, just to add to the statistics you mentioned earlier. Since I also filed the same bill, yes, I mentioned. Um, that. On top of the reasons that you mentioned earlier, um, overcapacity in our uh, jail and penology um, institution is also a big problem. Uh, as of 2013, we're over capacity by 380 percent. Ready, uh, the most severe case, uh, although not mentioned in this paper, is about 2,000 know? percent. So, you big sabihin. Uh, on the average in system ho natin, kung ang capacity niya is 1,000 um, uh, inmates, meron na nagpa 4,000, meron na nagpa 5,000, and even more. And on top of that, uh, on the average, the government spends about 19,435 pesos per year uh, on feeding and giving medicines to our inmates. This is actually quite, uh, this is actually higher than the average uh, income a family uh, makes in a year, which is about 15,000 per family. So definitely it's to the uh, interest of the country and the state to uh, decongest our jails by uh, dispensing the cases as quick as possible, Mr. Chair. So just to add to uh, the conversation. The Chair associates uh, itself with the arguments. In fact, there's another bill that I filed uh, addressing the 
overcrowded uh, jail system that we have. And uh, we will address that as quickly as we can at the moment we dispose of this particular measure. I think it's a, it's a measure whose time has come. The proposal is to add 100 judges. No? 100 RTC judges. 100 RTC judges and uh, 50 for MTC, or MCT, Municipal Court. Is that okay uh, with the, you folks? Leilani. For the department, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. For the Department of Justice, uh, we have already prepared a draft uh, fully supporting the passage of uh, Senate Bill creating the position of judges at large. Um, and we shall be officially transmitting the position paper once the same is signed by the Undersecretary in charge. We need your appropriations uh, proposal before the budget is approved. Mr. Chair, just, right. so, just I know, uh, my, my uh, information here is quite updated. We got it the PSA, which is quite weird. Actually, the latest year for uh, the latest year that PSA uh, updated um, the statistics on the courts is 2009. It's a long time. But I just want to ano, ask Lancy Attorney Villanueva, how, how many judges, uh, judges at large ang um, ini-envision nyo when this bill uh, is approved? Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. With respect to that, actually, we just jumped up on what is provided in the proposed bill. At the end of our committee, based on our communication, in so far as the number of judges that are needed nationwide, if we are uh, uh, our first uh, as of uh, June 2018, we have about 600,000, 630,000. I, I can give the exact figure later. Uh, in so far as uh, I can see two sets, I can say, or second level courts. Mm. And about uh, 180, or 170 uh, first level courts. Uh, so uh, on the other hand, uh, our ITC courts have about 500 uh, cases, more than 500 cases. Uh, while uh, for our largest per judge, yes, per judge, uh, one for our uh, first level court is about uh, 100 uh, uh, to 200 uh, cases per uh, judge. So uh, our uh, first level court are less burden as compared to our second level courts. But of course, uh, the most burden are heavily uh, burden courts are both in the cities mm. or in the urban centers, uh, Your Honor. Uh, there are uh, stations where you know the, uh, the caseload uh, is less than the average. Now, uh, based on this uh, caseloads, uh, attorney, uh, what, what do, how do you, uh, what is your uh, target in terms of the reduction of caseload? What is a reasonable number of caseloads? It should be 300 for ITCK uh, courts and about 500 for uh, first level uh, courts. So, uh, in fact, uh, uh, we're doing good as far as the first level courts are concerned, except in urban centers. And then, uh, with respect to the ITCs, of course, uh, uh, we're, uh, we're lacking in terms of the number of courts that we base on 300, the, the threshold uh, number of case loads uh, per, K, uh, per ITC. 300 sa ITC and 500 uh, 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 per uh, per judge, per judge, yes, well. Ang uh, correct uh, ngayon sa first level courts is about it's about 166 mistaken the case load right now uh, after June 30, 2018. So we have a total of 4,233 first level courts right now. So it's in the budget of that number. So it's only about uh, 200, 200 plus. 200 plus. But you plan to bring it down pa. Yes, of course, uh, because of most of the cases, actually the, uh, the profiles of our cases that for the RTC courts, it's about Yes, 
plus you in this one so that you will hit your target and then how much uh, is the budget but uh, how much is the point time budget uh, for those judges at large because we need to have a target no? that's why we need to this, this bill is really to reduce case loads but we need to have some form of target so that uh, we'll be achieving something no? your honor if you find the
situation. Yes, sir. Okay. Your Honor, with respect to this particular bill, our under, uh, understanding also is that it's the Supreme Court who will determine yeah. where to put them, yeah. Your Honor. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, second, Your Honor, or maybe just, uh, uh, just perhaps I'll put on record, yes, there are judges who are unable to uh, discharge as many cases as they could. Uh, because uh, sometimes the situation is we have stations that are really litigious in so far as the inhabitants or their constituents are concerned. For example, Your Honor, uh, we have a station that is a single sala court. For example, in a, in, part, in a particular province. Unfortunately for the court, the, there are so many cases there that the case load is 2,000 or 3,000, Your Honor. That's why we completely agree with the creation of more courts, Your Honor, in those stations that are heavily burdened. Especially because they only have one. But since 80 percent of the cases are criminal, yes, sir, the Department of Justice, the state prosecutors, should be warned about uh, this uh, uh, superfluous litigation ca uh, of cases that are being filed, sometimes maybe frivolously. Yes, Your Honor. But unfortunately, once it reaches the court, the court has to uh, uh, attend to but them, Your Honor. But then you have to solve that problem from the inception. In so far as criminal cases are concerned, it starts with yeah. uh, the uh, DOJ, Your Honor. I was looking at him, not with your role. Besides, he looks much better than you do. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you have do you have seminars? Do you have meetings with the prosecuting officials? That means, masyado yan. Bakit mataas masyado? That means, masyado ngayon liberal. File ng file. Kung tamad yung fiscal, pasa mo doon sa judge. Di ba? Bahala na sila. Di ba? Uh, you should really be monitoring the performance of the fiscals, don't you think so? Especially Council Justin Alienda. Uh, we, we fully agree with the observation. Your huh? Honor. You agree with the observation? Yes. So the legislature um, advises the uh, line agencies to be more, you know, uh, forthcoming and more uh, assiduous in looking at whether these cases are really delaying the administration of justice because some people are not doing their job. You know, as you know, Rule, we have had judges that have come before us that should not really be judges. One of them just applied for the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court because it was vacant. I, I have no comment, Your Honor. Oh, you have to comment because you... Uh, <laughs> Your Honor, uh, I have to, uh, you know, um, we respect all the judges uh, who form part of our justice system, Your Honor. If you will recall, uh, I respect them, I think she answered the way she did, and I said, I'm sorry, I, mean, I was going, she, yes, I thought she was being mocked, and so yes, I tried to support her. You may be a judge, a lawyer can apply, but if they're good, we should look at it. But if she's frivolous, how did she get into the judge position in the first place? I think uh, based on the records, Your Honor, uh, uh, she, she uh, got appointed uh, before 2010, and, uh, Are you blaming it on the Aquino administration? No, Your Honor, no, Your Honor. <laughs> no, no, Your Honor. In your separate <laughs> leader, in your... No, 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 Your Honor. It's not even during the time of the Aquino administration, Your Honor. But what I have to point out is that, uh, of course, uh, there was a time... I mean, the application passed through the JDC process, Your Honor. And But I'm, I'm not really sure if... Uh, no, but that's my point. Uh, I take my duties as uh, JBC seriously. Yes, sir, Therefore, kung hindi talaga pwede, hindi pwede. Marami nakikiusap dyan eh. E, tignan mo na natin yung record. Kung hindi naman papasa, huwag na natin aprobahan. Di ba? I submit, Your Honor. I think uh, at least that's, uh, if that is what this, uh, this, uh, the chairman, uh, the, the honorable chairman, considers as a wake-up call, uh, we, uh, yeah, we I, sub I, completely subscribe to it. I understand it, and I tried to give her a chance, and then when she answered in a ridiculous manner, I said, my God, how did you get to be judged in the first place? And she was articulate, huh? And then she's applying again. Yes, Your Honor. And then apparently, uh, some said, apparently there, something has intervened already, no? Uh, um, uh, yeah. She will no longer be interviewed, Your Honor, so she will, not, right. uh, she will not be uh, exposing herself uh, yeah, yeah. at least for another right. year. And anyway, so... Mr. Chair, before we, before we terminate this uh, bill, Mr. Mr. Chair, I'm, and because of the uh, uh, lack of time, I would like to request Attorney Villanueva to just uh, submit to this committee uh, how to operationalize this uh, bill. No, it, It's a good concept, of course, yes. 
uh, the aim really is to decongest our courts. But how do you operationalize it? No? And how many, for example, how many judges do you envision? And you raise a very valid point, Attorney Raul. I remember talking to our judges in Valenzuela. The problem is really staff. Eh? No? Yeah. So if we have a lot of judges at large, how uh, staff? No? Yes, so, Your Honor. Um, we lost the uh, number of personnel. The complement staff, uh, that staffing pattern of our courts uh, at this age and time, Your Honor, is uh, in, no longer uh, responsive to the uh, uh, to the work uh, that the I, I used to work in Accra and we had a lo heavy load ourselves. Yes, Your Honor. And we have very limited staff. Yes, Your Honor. And we didn't have any computers. We didn't have these computerized decisions of the courts. And you, can, you don't have access to Google, right? Yes, Your Honor. Right so I think that 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 that, that is being compensated. <laughs> I am not very lenient in so far as uh, we work is concerned. Your Honor. It's a meet your honor. <laughs> but uh, I hope. Eh, complete. Eh. Yeah. Araw, magkikipagbunta lang ka, baka kuha ka lang ng Supreme Court uh, Iskra. Yeah. Araw na, sa law school nung araw, there are only three sets of uh, Iskra. Yes, you're right. And there are about 150 students or 200 students. Well, it's so hard just to get the book. Yes, you're right. Now, you can even no, no use your, uh, your iPhone. iPhone. Yeah. That's why this guy should have been a lawyer. The gentleman should have been a lawyer. So yes, you're know. right. So, don't be too... Um, yes, you're right. Too forgiving. Uh, I'm, I, well, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm in favor of speedy justice. Thank but you, you know, Honor. sometimes there's such a thing as uh, entitlement. Yes, Your Honor. They start thinking, oh, we're entitled to this, we're entitled to that. Yes, Your Honor. Do your job, and, and the legislature will do its job. If they really are overloaded, we will support it. Thank you. In the Your meantime, Honor. I think the more important problem is, as, you, as the gentleman says, I think the first, the first uh, uh, for, uh, casualty here is the speedy dispensation of justice. Second, gosh, it, it slows down the whole process, it's unfair to others. Yes, sir. But if we do it, I don't care how many, just finish the job, okay. Then you can use these judges to fill up other vacancies. At least we have an apprentice judge, na, yes, although sir. they should not be termed apprentice. Diba? They, you know that they, they qualified. Yes, sir. You can see it, right? So I suggest we speed up the passage of this bill. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, uh, fuck, I want to... I want to bring it out already because even Frank Delon agreed with this. Yes, sir. Uh, so, yung kung 100 or 50 kung okay sa inyo yan, kaya nang bahala mag fine tune. Kung kulang yun pa, ihabol nyo na sa budget ngayon. Uh, Your Honor, uh, may I just, uh, sure, just to be a little uh, closer to uh, the, uh, the figures that we have. Uh, as of June 30, 2018, the total number of uh, ITC cases, including Saria District Court cases, is 622,170. Yeah, so that's the Supreme Court, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, that's for the lower courts, Your Honors, court uh, first level courts. For the municipal trial courts, or all the first level courts, Your Honors, as of June 30, 2018, based on our records, it's about 166,285. So, Your Honors, if we have uh, 1,000, since we have, as of, rec, uh, as of June 30, 2018, 1,059 ITCs and Saria District Courts, mm. we divide the, the 622,000 uh, cases. On the average, 587 cases per judge uh, is, being, uh, uh, is part of the caseload of yeah. a particular court. For the first level courts, it's lower. It's 134 only, Your Honors, all the first level courts. MTC. MTC, yes, mm -hmm. Your Honor. So what I'm saying is, if the proposal is 50 ITCs, uh, based on our threshold, that's why I mentioned earlier, we should be doubling. It should not be one. It should not be 50 at all. If we would like to address this, uh, uh, what this matter be? based on the case load, but uh, considering that we're filling all the vacancies, Your Honors, that's why, as far as we're concerned, 50 as a sort of a pilot or trial uh, number would be good already because uh, the, the budget that is now required, Your Honor, would be for personal services initially. Yeah. The, the salary of the judge, including all the uh, emoluments and the, the, the benefits, Your Honors. Uh, on the average, it's, uh, I think uh, about uh, uh, because the salary right now, if we go to uh, 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 tranche, uh, the fourth tranche, Your Honor, it will reach, if ITC, Your Honor, it's about 170. So times 12, it's more than uh, uh, close to uh, 3 million, Your Honor. Wow. Uh, for I, uh, Sorry, 155, Your Honor, I'm sorry. 155. So 
uh, times uh, 12, that would be more or less uh, close to... Uh, 2 million. To one, one, uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, 1.8 million, Your Honor. Uh -huh. About 1.8 million. That's yeah. the salary for... Even the, 2 million? Uh -huh. Yes, po. For the uh, RTCN? Yes, for the RTC. Uh -huh. for the, that's for, for fourth year tranche already. For uh, the uh, first level courts, they're all salary grade 28 already, Your Honor, so there's no distinction. So it will be 137 per, uh, per judge. So at 100 would be more or less about... A uh, million uh, 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 per Times 12, that would be 1.5 1 million, uh, 1.6 million, Your Honor. Times 100, that would be 164 uh, uh, million, Your Honor, a year. If you build that, it will add... We add up all of this, Your Honor. Oh. Just a, a little pencil pushing, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. So you're okay with 150? Uh, yes, as far as we're concerned, Your Honor. Well, we, because, like I said, we're feeling. Hindi naman yung appoint ka agad yan, eh. Lalo yes, Your Honor. Sa kailangan, di ba? Di ba? Ang gusto ko, eh. Uh, Bigyan mo ng maximum and medium and minimum, no? Yes, Your Honor. Pero you don't have to appoint everyone. Yes, Your Honor. That's correct. We have to choose only the stations where we need to assign them, Your Honor. Yeah. And. How do you speed this up, the choosing? It will be, it will have to pass through the JBC again, Your Honor, because right. this judge will only be appointed through the, uh, through the I'm procedures. I'm aware of that, I'm uh, very aware of that, but, yes, but uh, para mabilis, you have to really do your homework and give it to the JBC right away. Yes, Your Honor. And then when do you decide that it's enough? We pull out the judges, what do we do with the judges afterwards? Uh, Your Honor, they can apply for regular positions. Yeah, uh, and at least they can be given priority. In fact, uh, that can be considered as, 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 an, as an incentive, Your Honor. A good is a good question. Yeah, sabi ko parang apprentice. Yes, yes po, yes po. Uh, yes so, po. So, let's say bumaba na lahat. Eh, what do we do with them? Your Honor, uh, there is no entitlement here. Your, uh, Your Honor, when, when the time comes that we do not need any more these uh, judges at large, uh, and they're still there, part of the service, if they're not uh, yet... Uh, uh, appointed to a regular uh, court, Your Honor, then uh, perhaps uh, additional courts that may be created, they can be considered for those positions. Yeah, I know, but supposing they don't need the additional courts. We shall we leave it to the Supreme Court to say, no more, tamana, and uh, we'll just keep the, the number there in case it comes back again? Perhaps, Your Honor, we can uh, give them additional tasks to help in decision-making, Your Honors. Uh, while uh, they're not appointed to a regular po uh, court in the meantime. Diyan ba pasok yung six months ka doon sa isang lugar para matulungan mo mabilisan yung mga judges? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, you can do that. Yes, Your Honor. In fact, uh, that can be considered, you can even consider assigning them to our appellate courts or uh, for purposes of uh, drafting decisions, Your Honor. In fact, even up to the Supreme Court if they're willing to accept. Because that's uh, being done in Korea before, Your Honor. The judges are actually helping their Supreme Court justices mm -hmm. come up with decisions uh, regarding their cases, Your Honor. They're assigned there to do that. So we will put that in the law? I, I, I submit, Your Honor, it depends on uh, the pleasure of uh, the chairperson, yeah. the honorable chairperson and the members and the sponsors, yeah. uh, Your Honor. So we will look at the Korean experience, right? Uh, to a certain extent, it might be considered, Your Honor, yeah. for, for, uh, in the event that... Uh, they're left with nothing to do anymore as uh, ah, judges at large. And then we can just introduce that in the, uh, on the, on the floor as an amendment, right? Y yes, Your Honor. Yes, All Your right. Honor. Any other comments? Subject again to the admonition that the fiscal should... Uh, yes, Your Honor. Prosecuting officials, prosecuting officers, right? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, so, okay. So, shall we move the issue bill also? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, I move to uh, approve the... Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, ano yan? Huh? Hindi, tapos eh. Hindi ka pa senador. Yan ka lang muna. So, okay, go ahead. Uh, it is understood, of course, 